Zori Mara here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna try for you pieces from part two of the Cezanne Italy collaboration. Not too many pieces because the drop sold out mega fast and I know the collections lately have been selling quick but I thought this last drop was like extremely fast. I do love what I got so I'm excited to show it to you and I'm gonna also show you a few things I got from Reformation lately. I've been really pulled back in by Reformation. I love what they've been doing with the spring collection. I like the materials. I love the cuts. So I want to spotlight these items for you. If you enjoy watching today's video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I'd love to see you around more. Now let's get into today's video. This here is the Ron Top size small. One of the most popular pieces from this drop, I think. This was the first item I added to my cart after the collection loaded because I had a hunch that it will sell out. It's just such an easy and versatile piece. I love how it drapes. I love how it feels on. I personally was planning to wear it just as a tank top with nothing underneath, but I saw a few pictures on Instagram where people are wearing it like a vest over a long sleeve shirt, and I'm going to experiment with that as well. For my birthday, I wanted to get one of the croc cloth bags. I was hoping that the Cezanne San Francisco store will stock both the crew and the yellow, and I can see them in real life and decide, but unfortunately they still don't have them. So I ordered the crew first and then two days later I ordered the yellow and the yellow is still being fulfilled. I'm planning to do a standalone video to compare the two bags to each other and then to compare them to last year's Milo bags that were very popular in the summer. And I already know that it's going to be really hard to pick between the Ecru Croc and the Yellow Croc bag, but I must pick only one. For the Ecru, I like the versatility of the color. I love the durability of the Croc leather. I already have the Burgundy Croc, so I know that it's a bag that fits enough for my daily needs and that I really, really like. What do you think? If you had to choose between the Ecru and the Yellow, which one would you choose? This right here is the Colleen shirt, size 34, which is my usual size for tops. It runs through to size, cotton, lightweight. I love the colors of the embroidery. I love that the embroidery is not overpowering the shape. My favorite thing is how the embroidery follows the ruffle. It's such a nice detail. However, I was a little bummed to find out that there is no embroidery on the back and the bella dress that's made from the same fabric has embroidery on the back so I wish they had kept that for the shirt as well. Personally, I film a lot of content and in a lot of my content my back is facing the camera so I love when a piece has more of like a 30-60 appeal. But regardless, it is a really beautiful shirt that it's synonymous with Cezanne and how they do feminine tops. I know I said no more blazers, but I wanted to try the Michelle blazer in the new cotton linen mix. I went for size 34, which is my usual size for the Michelle blazers. I like the fit. It is an oversized cut that is slightly longer than some of the other blazer designs. I can picture me or any girl wear this in Europe with a pair of shorts and cute sandals. It's like such a nice, way to elevate a holiday outfit. I am really, really tempted to keep it, even though I said no more blazers. Let me know what you think. Do you love it? I got these Mary Jane flats from a company called Poppy Barley. They are based in Canada. I first came across this brand last year. I got their gladiator sandals. And I absolutely love them because they have an insole and I think all of their shoes have the same insole because these Mary Janes have it as well. It is like walking on clouds. It is so unbelievably comfortable. I'm shocked that not more footwear companies don't have like anything similar. These are for all the women out there who don't like to sacrifice comfort for looks. They come in three different colors. There's this 
a crew color there is a pink and there is a black you can take these out of the box wear them and walk for days isn't this mini skirt so so darling it has an elastic waist very very comfortable linen fabric with floral print it is lined i tried a dress in the same fabric and that one is really beautiful as well i'm gonna link it in the description box below personally i prefer the skirt i think i can do a lot with it and i have a lot of midi length pieces which the dress is a midi length and i kind of want to experiment and play with more short this spring and summer which makes this skirt perfect addition to my closet i present you the perfect mini skirt i love how light feminine and flowy this piece is it comes in four different colors and they are selling out rather quickly and i can tell you it is justified because it's such a great skirt it's a mini but it offers enough coverage as i said it's very feminine and flirty and comfortable it reminds me a little bit of the designs i see by the french brand rouge this mini dress absolutely won my heart and it is available in black which would be the most perfect little black dress however for paris i wanted something just a little bit more fun that's why i went with the polka dot it is size zero which is my usual size for reformation dresses i would say it fits through the size i am obsessed with the square neckline it is gorgeous and regardless of the size of your chest when you lean forward there is no gaping i love how the sleeves are pushed kind of like to the edge of where the shoulder is but they don't fall they're placed perfectly there's a little bit of gathering on the shoulder it's just for shape there is not any excess volume and that's the case also here where the skirt is attached to the top part of the dress there's just a little bit of gathering to give the dress that really nice feminine shape without making it too puffy the dress is lined and there is a very thin layer of tulle again to give the dress a more playful silhouette i am just so so in love in this dress and i can't wait to wear it in paris more polka dots this one is black and brown i was really excited for this one but i think i like the black and white polka dot just a little bit better i tried this exact dress at the reformation store in white and in red and i think my favorite is the solid color version i think i like both the white and the red leaning towards the red i might get that one i will return the black and brown polka dot just because i am keeping the other polka dot and i'm trying to be really good and not just go off the rail and get every polka dot i see but i wanted to show you this one as well because i think it's really beautiful and it is worth your attention all right everyone this is it for today thank you so much for watching let me know in the comment section below what you think of today's video which reformation and Cezanne pieces are your favorite if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask if you enjoy watching today's video give it a thumbs up it really helps my channel consider subscribing i would love to see you around more and if you're active on facebook and instagram i'm going to include links to my pages in the description box below on there, I share daily discount codes, sale alerts, restock alerts, and new collection gossip. I would love for us to connect on there as well. Have a wonderful week and see you next time.